One thing I forgot to mention in my videos, obvious to me, but probably not to some of you guys. These things are balanced, yeah? They spin um, at the road wheel speed. So you can imagine there's a fair lump of metal here, mass, and it spins. Um, and the longer it is, um, the more prone it is to going out of balance. So what the manufacturers do is they put these balance plates on. There's one there on the end, and there's also one here, quite a large balance plate. And the manufacturers have gone some effort to balance these things up. Now, on some, you'll see, I've highlighted it in red there, there's narrow on it. Um, I couldn't find the corresponding mark on the other end of this prop shaft when I did this. So I made my own arrow and then on the cup at the end I created another line there which corresponds with the yoke that's nearest that arrow. There it is. Okay, so that way I know the two halves are back in exactly the same orientation. All I've done is replace the uh, universal joint in the middle there which is relatively low mass compared to the rest of the metal here. And when I put the shaft back again together, um, I will make sure these two arrows line up. So arrow one, arrow two, and I'll push the splines in. In fact, I might, no, I can't see it. I was just looking there and I thought, oh, blimey, I wonder if that uh, spline was red, but I think it's the grease that's red and not the spline. You can see I'm turning it there. Um, so I couldn't find an arrow on this, this end. It's possible there is one somewhere on there. Um, in fact, is that it there? There it is right at that end there's the other arrow so that arrow then should line up with that arrow there front prop shafts on Range Rovers especially and probably a lot of cars actually they're slightly offset um, so the two yokes aren't exactly 100% in line with each other um, there's about I don't know probably about 15 20 degrees difference yeah I'm quite amazed I found that look at that what a silly ass um, right so what I need to do now is push this together so give me one second so if I push it together one spline out, you can see obviously they're not aligned. The splines are that wide that you can um, notice instantly if there's an issue. So if I push them together so they are aligned. Sorry, I got my try and get my finger out of the way there. And it should go together if I God, what how cack headed is that? Right, okay. I really ought to get myself a cam. There we are, it's gone together. Right now, so having pushed the two splines together, well you can see the arrows align with the arrow there and also the red line which I put on the end there all the lines beautifully so that just keeps the balance if they need rebalancing take the prop shaft off take it to a machine shop they connect it onto a machine they'll rebalance it um, some people mess around with jubilee clips around it and turning them but it's a bit hit or miss that I'd rather reassemble it the way it was before it was taken apart so it can be rebalanced it doesn't need to be rebalanced sorry I should say so that's it that was just the prop shaft and its balance weights, which you can see one there and one there. And they're both pretty much on the same plane as well. All right, that was it.